Welcome to the web-slinging world of The Amazing Spider-Man, a classic TV series that swung onto screens in 1977, bringing everyone's favorite wall crawler to life. Before we dive into the web of nostalgia, ponder this, which legendary Hollywood actor from this series left an indelible mark on your memories? Now, let's step back into the late 70s seconds, a time when television embraced the superhero genre with open arms. The Amazing Spider-Man was a notable addition, featuring Nicholas Hammond as Peter Parker, capturing the essence of the iconic character. The series offered a unique take on the friendly neighborhood hero, captivating audiences with its episodic adventures. But here's the question, do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Perhaps it was the excitement of seeing Spider-Man swing between skyscrapers, or the thrill of witnessing Peter Parker's double life unfold. We want to hear about your personal experiences and fondest recollections. Before we swing into your stories, let's unravel some random facts about The Amazing Spider-Man. Did you know that the show marked the first live-action portrayal of the Marvel Comics superhero on television? It paved the way for future adaptations, leaving an enduring impact on Spidey's legacy. Now, it's your turn. Share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to The Amazing Spider-Man in the comments below. We'd love to hear your stories and memories, so don't hold back. And there you have it, a nostalgic glimpse into the 1977 TV series that brought Spider-Man into our living rooms. What classic Hollywood actor was your favorite? And do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Share your tales in the comments below and keep the web-slinging spirit alive. The Amazing Spider-Man, a television series that swung into the hearts of viewers in 1977, encapsulates the arachnid adventures of Peter Parker, portrayed by Nicholas Hammond. This small screen rendition of the iconic Marvel Comics character follows Parker's dual life as a mild-mannered photographer and a crime-fighting web-slinger in the bustling backdrop of New York City. The show, which drew inspiration from the comic books, introduced audiences to classic Spider-Man villains such as the Green Goblin, the Vulture, and Dr. Octopus. While the series displayed a modest budget, it compensated with its earnest portrayal of Spider-Man's ethical struggles and the personal toll of a superhero lifestyle. One of the defining aspects of this adaptation was its departure from the comic book's vibrant and dynamic visuals, opting for a more grounded and realistic aesthetic. Despite the constraints, The Amazing Spider-Man captured the essence of Stan Lee and Steve Ditko's creation, weaving moral quandaries into each episode alongside the customary battles against rogues. The character-driven narrative and Hammond's portrayal struck a chord with audiences, solidifying Spider-Man as a beloved figure beyond the comic book panels. Although the show had a brief run, its impact on popular culture endured. The Amazing Spider-Man laid the groundwork for future adaptations, influencing the portrayal of Spider-Man in various media. Hammond's earnest depiction and the show's exploration of Parker's internal struggles left an indelible mark on the superhero genre. The legacy of this television series endures in the spider-web tapestry of Spider-Man's cultural significance, showcasing the enduring appeal of a hero navigating the complexities of power and responsibility. In the early 1970s, Spider-Man swung into the realm of live-action television, marking the character's transition from comic book pages to the small screen. However, before Nicholas Hammond donned the iconic red and blue suit, another actor, Danny Segrin, took on the role from 1974 to 1977 in the children's television show The Electric Company. Segrin's portrayal laid the groundwork for what would become the 1977 TV series adaptation. When Nicholas Hammond stepped into the web slinger's shoes, the show took a notable departure from the comic books by ditching familiar love interests like Mary Jane Watson, Betty Brandt, and Gwen Stacy. Instead, Spider-Man found romance in the character of Julie Masters, a reporter. The shift in the romantic subplot was a deliberate choice that set the tone for the series. Despite facing budget constraints, the amazing Spider-Man opted for a more grounded and realistic aesthetic, deviating from the vibrant visuals of the comics. This decision, along with Hammond's earnest depiction of Peter Parker, contributed to the show's enduring impact on popular culture. Fast forward to today, where actors like Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield, 
and Tom Holland have taken on the mantle of Spider-Man in various film adaptations. Interestingly, Nicholas Hammond was slated for a cameo in Spider-Man, No Way Home, offering a nod to his legacy as the early live-action Spider-Man. Unfortunately, due to scheduling setbacks and script adjustments, this cameo never materialized. As we reflect on the evolution of Spider-Man in live action, it's fascinating to trace the roots back to Danny Seagrin's portrayal and observe how the 1977 TV series set the stage for future adaptations. The decision to redefine Spider-Man's love life and the show's commitment to exploring ethical dilemmas showcased a commitment to storytelling that resonated with audiences, leaving an indelible mark on the superhero genre. In the intricate web of Spider-Man's cultural significance, the 1977 TV series remains a pivotal chapter, influencing subsequent adaptations and solidifying the character as a beloved figure beyond the comic book panels. The journey from Danny Seagrin to Nicholas Hammond laid the foundation for Spider-Man's enduring legacy in the realm of live-action television and film. Stan Lee, the co-creator of Spider-Man, held a strong disdain for the 1977 TV adaptation. In various interviews, Lee openly expressed his dissatisfaction, deeming the series too juvenile and criticizing the treatment of Spider-Man as a cardboard character. Despite Lee's reservations, the show, set in the Earth's 730,911 version of the Marvel Universe, became a pivotal chapter in Spider-Man's live-action journey. This divergence in opinion between the character's creator and the televised portrayal adds an intriguing layer to the series' legacy. Lee's disapproval, however, did not prevent the amazing Spider-Man from leaving an enduring mark on the superhero genre, influencing subsequent adaptations, and solidifying the character's status beyond the comic book panels. The clash of creative visions and the consequential impact on Spider-Man's cultural significance underscore the complexity of bringing iconic characters to life on the small screen. In the early 1970s, a proposal for a Superman vs. Spider-Man film emerged, suggested by literary agent David Ups to Stanley and Carmine Infantino. While the film never materialized due to existing plans for the Superman film and the Amazing Spider-Man TV series, this idea took an alternate route and became a comic book. The intersection of creative decisions, from Lee's dissatisfaction to the adaptation's influence on future projects, paints a dynamic picture of the 1977 TV series. From its departure from comic book visuals to the commitment to exploring ethical dilemmas, the show navigated challenges to lay the foundation for Spider-Man's enduring legacy in live-action television and film. As we delve into the intricate web of Spider-Man's journey, it's clear that the 1977 TV series, despite initial criticism, played a crucial role in shaping the trajectory of this iconic superhero. As we bid farewell to the enthralling tapestry of the amazing Spider-Man, take a moment to swing down memory lane, your own personal web of nostalgia. Allow the echoes of that iconic 1977 TV series to linger in the air, much like the wisps of Spidey's web caught in the New York breeze. Did it spark the imagination of your youth or become the backdrop to a simpler time? Maybe you found solace in the daily struggles of Peter Parker, mirroring your own challenges. Or perhaps it was the timeless allure of a hero, swinging from skyscrapers, that left an indelible mark on your soul. Now, I extend an invitation. Share with us your treasured memories, your untold tales of how the amazing Spider-Man became not just a show but a companion in the grand theater of your life. Unleash your thoughts like a burst of web fluid, connecting us through the shared experience of a series that transcends time. As we wrap up this chapter, let your reflections be the threads that weave our collective understanding of the impact of this legendary series. Your words, like Spidey's web, have the power to bridge the gaps between fans, spanning generations, and uniting us in the enduring legacy of a friendly neighborhood hero. Thank you for swinging by, for taking a moment to relive the magic spun by the amazing Spider-Man. Your stories, your sentiments, they are the true heroes in this narrative. Until we meet again in the web-filled corners of nostalgia, thank you for your time and interest.